Hello and welcome, welcome to Biblical Sexual Purity, a time dedicated to teaching godly sexuality. I am Hosanna Devi. I had a revelation from God and it awakened my desire to actually teach people on how to live sexually pure lives and stay away from every form of sexual immorality as Jesus has commanded us in the Holy Bible. I had a revelation and I sighed. Was in the revelation, I wasn't seeing the person talking, but I knew it was a voice of God. But it sounded like the voice of a man. The person was lamenting. And this is what God was saying. God said, I am searching and looking for people who could carry out some specific assignments in the world. God said, there are some things that he wants people to do and the people that are qualified to carry out these assignments are just virgins and he looks around and couldn't find enough people to use and god was saying that it pains him that parents are no longer doing their work that majority of christian children before they grow up to adulthood to the stage that god will want to use them they would have already messed up their lives god is looking for people remember the children of philip four adults four girls they were virgins and they were prophets. God was speaking through them and God used them mightily according to history. How many of us still think about sexual purity? Our body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. God lives in our bodies. Please keep the body pure. Keep the temple. Any man, any woman, that is having sex outside marriage or before marriage is defiling the body of Christ. You are defiling the temple of God for your body is holy. You have to keep the body holy. A lot of people ask for the Holy Spirit. A lot of people ask for the anointing. But how many of them keep the body clean? In the name of grace, we no longer have virgins anymore except a few. In the name of grace that God forgives sin, people go out there and start having sex, males and females, without growing even up to the marriageable age. What is happening? This is a call upon all Christians, both children, both adults, both parents. Please give the place of virginity, keep the place of virginity alive. God is jealous of our bodies. The body is his temple. Remember Moses, when it was about 10 years before the deliverance of Israel from Egypt would take place, Moses ran away to Haran. And because the Savior who supposed to take those people out of the land of Egypt was no more, they stayed extra 30 years. Moses remained in Haran for 40 years before he came back. But the truth about this is that God said they will go to Egypt and remain in slavery for 400 years. But they remained in Egypt in slavery. The children of Israel were there for 430 years because the Savior was not there. He ran away. The assignment that the Lord has given to Christian youths, if they fail to prepare themselves and make themselves holy for God to use them, the souls that they're supposed to save, the messages that they're supposed to pass to the world, those things will remain there, except maybe God finds an alternative. Please share this video. Share this message and subscribe to our YouTube channel, BS Purity TV. Visit our website, biblicalsexualpurity.com and sign up. It's a community website. If you have any question, 
ask your question, I'm going to respond to you. Or you are a Christian counselor and you want to be a part of this movement of teaching godly sexuality, sign up. You can message me, Hosanna David at yme.com or info at biblicalsexualpurity.com. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.